Good morning, Lancers. I'm Diego. And I'm Luca, back with this week's edition of Lancers in the News. We hope you've had a great week. Now let's get right into the announcements. Prom 2024 is quickly approaching the Golden Age Gala, an old Hollywood glamour theme, is on Friday, May 3rd at the Grand Californian Hotel. This formal dance is open to current juniors and seniors. Guest passes will be available for this event. Pre-sale tickets will be on sale in the student store on Monday, March 25th and Tuesday, March 26th for $100 per person or $200 per couple. Regular ticket sales begin on Thursday, March 28th for $120 per person or $240 per couple. Save up to $40 and purchase pre-sale tickets next Monday and Tuesday. Juniors and seniors, please check, please check your grade level Google Classroom to find dress code guidelines for your prom attire. It is very important that you read and follow these guidelines when selecting your attire. Please remember that all dresses, both for all my students and guests, must be approved before the dance. Dress approval from prom is done digitally. If you're looking to bring a guest, guest pass request forms must be submitted and approved in person before buying your tickets. A copy of the form is currently available outside Mrs. Salcedo's office and also posted on Google Classroom under the prom folder. Please see Ms. Salcedo or any dean with questions about dress code or guest passes. Spring break is just around the corner and with that many students have some important studying to do. In a few months, AP and IB students will be taking their respective exams. And as the time grows closer, students have begun preparing. Your AP classes will help you prepare for college. AP classes and the coursework they provide is going to help you be more used to a college course. Because when you get to college, every class is going to be kind of like an AP class, where there's going to be that level of difficulty and that level of work that the students have to do. So some of the benefits that most people know are that you get college credit. One of the things that's different from IB and AP is the time of the classes. So IB has two-year classes, not for all classes, but for a few. Um, one being the language classes. So let's say you're not fluent in a language, but you want to take an advanced language class like Spanish or French or Latin, you can take IB, which gives you two years to prepare instead of one. So you'll see students doing inter um, the internal assessments. So they're doing interviews with their teachers. Um, they have the testing the same as the AP. You'll see them testing in May. They're going to probably be very stressed out at first, but they've been preparing for a few years now, right, or a couple years, so they're good. The mother-son dance pictures are in. Please pick up your pictures after school in the ASB office, located in the 300 wing. Interested in being a future member of the 2024-2025 Bishwa Mott dance team? Auditions are in just a few weeks. An information meeting will be held this coming Monday, March 25th, at 6 p.m. in the dining room of the SAC. Be sure to attend this meeting to learn all about what it takes to be an Amat dance team member. See you Monday. Hey Lancers, I'm Gianna. And I'm Cadence here with this week's sports report. Baseball played Bishop Montgomery way last Friday and won with a shutout of 6-0. Pitcher Justin Pinato picked up the win with a seven-inning shutout gem. Pinato pitched out 13 nights batters while allowing only three hits and a walk. The Lancers had six hits in total and benefited from five Montgomery errors. The boys played Parakeet at home Tuesday and won with another shutout victory 2-0. Pitcher Aaron Sandin tossed seven scoreless innings while racking up seven strikeouts. Senior Miguel Perez drove in a run with a sacrifice fly, adding to the league leading total of 13 RBIs. The win over the Spirits was the team's 10th straight win. This success has been supported by two Lancers, Justin Pinedo and Aaron Sandin. The duo is performing with the best of California's high school pitchers each with microscopic ERAs and over 30 strikeouts. They lead the team to an undefeated 7-0 league record. Softball played Pericle away on Tuesday and lost 9-3. Two infielders are leading the offense to a successful 5-1 league leading score. Junior Ariana Saldivar and sophomore Mia Arabalo are leading their team in batting average with 481 and 368 averages heading into Thursday. They had a game yesterday against Pericle at home, so check the lands for those results. Track and field had a meet away against Sarah on Wednesday. Varsity girls won 54-20. Senior Sophia Ebener won first place in the girls' varsity 600-meter run with a time of 5 minutes and 49 seconds. Varsity boys won 49-37. to 37. Senior Talon O'Dell achieved first place in the varsity boys' 100-meter dash with a time of 11.65. Boys golf played their first league match on Monday against St. Paul and won 2.07 to 2.51. They took on Cathedral on Wednesday away and won 2.28 to 2.86. Senior Javi Alvarado led the team scoring 38 in both matches. 
They stand in an undefeated 2-0 in league thus far. Boys tennis played Cathedral on Wednesday at home. The team came out victorious with a 10-8 victory. Swim team had a league meet on Wednesday at Brenda Villa. Senior swimmer Ian Quintas earned first place in the 50 freestyle. Fellow senior Harper Taros also took home first place for the 100 butterfly. Attention cheerleaders and dancers. Pep Squad is hosting a mandatory tryout meeting on Tuesday, March 26 at 6 p.m. in the library. Important information regarding the upcoming season and tryout process will be discussed. Potential candidates and at least one parent must attend in order to be eligible to move forward with the tryout process. If you have any questions, please contact Coach Sabrina. That's all for this week's sports report. Go Lancers! Thanks, guys. Yesterday, the, te the theater department's first showing of the spring musical Mary Poppins took place. Thursday, Mary Poppins had a practically perfect opening night where the seniors began their last week of performances and Alma had its first show with flying. What is it like flying? Um, flying is very stressful at the beginning because like I have to get clipped in super fast. But like once I'm like actually going, it can be fun and like I feel like like I'm just being lifted in the air. It's pretty nice sometimes actually. The hardest part is that it actually kind of hurts. It's just like a harness like on the waist. So it, it needs to be secure enough so that I like don't fall over. My favorite moment for sure is when me and Eli had our first flying rehearsals and they clipped him in and he was just like doing flips. He was doing so many in the air and I just, it was so funny. Like, I don't know, I thought it was gonna feel more secure, but it like feels like, it feels nice that it doesn't have to feel secure to be secure. Um, so like, I'm just in the air and I feel like I'm floating. Um, like either being carried by God or something, I don't know, but it was, it's just like a little silly. Um, Step in time is the hardest number for me because I have to do a quick change into tap shoes and also because there's flying, there's like a lot of people on stage, people are flipping around, but it's, it's really cool, but it's the hardest. How do you feel about this being um, your last show performing with the seniors? Oh, really sad because I love those seniors. I, they're my friends and I've made a lot of memories with them from Clue, from my theater class. This is like a good show to end it off on. I'm not quite ready to say goodbye to um, all the people that I've, I've met here in like this community. I, we'll just see what happens and we'll get there when we get there. Those interested in playing sports in college, come to the NCAA Information Night on Monday, March 25th at 6.30 in the library. See Mr. Tinto for more details. On Tuesday, March 26th, a cadet from West Point will deliver a presentation about the U.S. Military Academy. Please see Mr. Scott for further information. Well, that's all we have for you guys this week. Have a fantastic Friday and a great spring break. 